1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16 to 18. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. The event of the rapture of the saints will be one of the greatest events in their history. There will be great joy for the believers who are caught up to see Christ. Their sorrows will be forever in the past, never to be experienced or remembered again. Blessed are those who will be partakers of this great event. Rapture is an event in which the saints in Christ would have their bodies transformed and transfigured and caught up into the skies. It is only the saints in Christ that would be transformed and translated. It is comforting to know that we would someday meet with the Lord and forever be with Him. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 19 that if all the hope we have in Christ ends in this world, then we are of all men most miserable. Now, if we also have hope in Christ beyond this evil world, then we are of all men most blessed. The hope that we will someday be welcomed by our Lord and Saviour in the air gives us the strength to overcome whatever challenges we might be facing at this present time. In 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 13 to 18, Apostle Paul related to the believers in Thessalonica the event of the rapture. They thought that the rapture would take place in their lifetime. At that time, some of the believers in Thessalonica were aged, and some died. So the believers in Thessalonica thought there was no hope for those. However, by divine revelation, Paul was able to relate the events that would take place at the rapture. Nothing can stand as a barrier to whatever God has proposed to do. When the trumpet shall sound at the incidence of rapture, the first set of believers who would be caught up are the saints who died in Christ. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 They will all resurrect, is what the Bible recorded as the first resurrection. Then we would say, O oh death! Where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? 1 Corinthians 15 verse 55 Revelations 20 verse 6 says, Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Both we that are alive and them will all together be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. What a great reunion it will be! That will be the greatest reunion ever. We will see our loved ones again. Not only are we going to see them momentarily, but the joy of ever being with them will be overwhelming. All the saints would see the Lord and rejoice in His salvation. This is the greatest part of the event. The Lord will become visible to us, and we shall live with Him forever. The rapture of the saints is an event that no believer should afford to miss. It hosts a joy that is unspeakable. 
At this point, Jesus will fulfill his wonder promise in John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. We see how monumental this event is. There are no middlemen lest their corruption. There are no brokers lest there is favoritism. Even angels are on standby at this time. Because Jesus says I will come again, in other words, Jesus will come and personally host. This should show the gravity of this monumental day. So many times in the world of God, angels are sent, angels are dispatched to execute duties of the Lord, to carry instructions for the benefit of the saints. As true mystering spirits they are. However, no angel, seraphim, cherubim, archangel will be tasked with the duty of receiving the saints. Because this event is above their pay grade, they will also have to just watch the Master Jesus carry it out. And if I go out and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again. The Lord Jesus Christ will return for you. Isaiah 63 verse 1 Who is this who comes from Edom, with garments of glowing colors from Bozrah? This one who is majestic in his apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength, it is I who speak in righteousness, mighty to save. When he is revealed, he will be reveled in all his glory and all of his might. Watch and take heed. Matthew 24 verse 42 to 44 Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Believers should not pay attention to any false teaching on the fact that there is no such thing as a rapture. The Bible has given us enough proof to show that a rapture is an event that will undoubtedly come to pass. The Bible gave us accounts of two men who never tasted death but were transfigured. Enoch walked with God to the point that he took him from the earth. Genesis 5 verse 24 Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more, because God took him away. Elijah was also caught up from the earth by a chariot of fire. 2 Kings 2 verse 11 as they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. If God did it before, he can do it again. There are no impossibilities with God. Believers should, therefore, get themselves prepared for Elijah and Enoch's experience at the rapture of the saints. 
the transition of Elijah and Enoch is a biblical proof that rapture will definitely come to pass. We must watch and wait earnestly for the rapture event by living a holy life. There is not unholy that would be associated with Christ. If we would be counted worthy at the rapture of the saints, we must live our lives with the consciousness that rapture could take place at any time. No one knows the day in which this event will happen. Blessed are those who will be found ready. Are you ready? If rapture should take place now, are you sure you will be transited? <laughs>